Get in, bitches. We're going shopping. <laughs> hey, everybody. What's up? It's your girl, Do back here with another video. I'm not screaming today because it's uh, still a Saturday morning and some people are sleeping and I don't want to draw any attention to myself. But <laughs> today I'm taking you guys with me on a thrifting spree. So I've never been thrifting in like real life because back home we don't have that many thrift stores. Secondhand stores are really also rare. There's not much of a thrifting experience. So I never used to go thrifting, but I really want to try it here in Berlin because there are so many secondhand stores here and um, I've heard that there are like some good pieces, I've heard there are some good stores, but I've also heard that there is not like a great selection of really good secondhand pieces, it's just like random pieces of clothes and those curated stores are like vintage stores and they're usually more pricey and more expensive. So we'll go to those another day. Today we're just going to the really, really cheap stores, secondhand stores and see if we can find anything. And oh my God, it is so cold today. Like if you can see like my hands are So we are going to be visiting Oxfam and Humana today So I'll tell you all about it after I get home and if I ever bought something Hi! Are we filming? Please tell me we're filming Yes ah, Hi! We're back home um, I'm filming this on a different day because the day that I actually went thrifting was quite tiring i spent i think about six hours in total just going through two stores so yeah this is a different day hi welcome to a different day so my first impressions of thrifting in these two stores so oxfam and humana are pretty good i really enjoyed thrifting i didn't think i would enjoy this much and uh, one of the reasons why i really really loved this thrifting experience was because i think I found my true passion in life. I'm actually really surprised that I enjoyed thrifting so much and I don't know why I didn't anticipate me having this much fun because I love, I repeat it one more time, I love going through every single item of clothing in a shop. You cannot believe it. I love going through the rack like <laughs> every single time I go shopping, I do this. I can spend hours and I mean hours in one single store going through every single rack and every single item of clothing you cannot believe it i do not have a problem with it it is insane and i don't know why i didn't anticipate this connection between me and thrifting it's like the perfect thing for me however one thing that i found a little annoying is the people who work in the shop looking at you a little weirdly like hmm because you spend hours in their store. The thing is I get it because you have to like look at the store and everything and when someone's there for hours, it might be a little suspicious. I don't know why, but I'm assuming they think it's suspicious for whatever reason. In Humana, one of the secondhand stores that I visited, um, there was this lady working at the cash register and she kept looking at me like every few minutes because I was in the same section of the shop. So the section that's like near to the entrance for more than an hour looking through every single rack. And she kept looking at me like... <laughs> it was so uncomfortable because I, I have this thing where I feel when eyes are on me. I can feel when someone's like looking at me and I just go like... <laughs> like, lady, let me look at the clothes. So that was something that I found a little uncomfortable. But I guess it's a small price to pay for spending hours in one store. <laughs> So yeah, I won't bore you too much with my fascination <laughs> of spending hours in one of the thrift stores. But first I'll just talk about my um, impressions and thoughts on Oxfam and Humana. Then I'll show you what I bought uh, at the very end of the video. Stay tuned. The first store I went to was Oxfam and it's a really cute little secondhand store and it's not just about the clothes. You can find books, you can find teacups, you can find random things that you need in a house, you can find cards. Um, I don't even know, there are so many random things that you can find in this store. It's really interesting. So it's not just a secondhand store for clothes only, but for secondhand 
everything basically. Now in Oxfam, the clothes seem to be quite curated. So there weren't lots of items of clothing, a really specific and select items, you could say. The price range of these items of clothing was actually pretty high for a standard thrift shop or secondhand store. And I think the reason why is because most of the clothes are brands. The cheapest item of clothing I could find was around seven euros. And this is excluding accessories like hats and gloves and all of that. So just items of clothing. And that's pretty high in thrift store standards, if you will, because you would expect to find things really, really cheap or like one euro to four euro or something. And having things like from seven euros to 12, 13, 14 for simple pieces of clothing, like a pair of pants or a top was a bit too high, but I guess that's the price you pay if you go to a store that's a little bit more curated. So it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for secondhand clothes that are I would say a bit better so you don't go through a lot of random items and you go through things that are selected to be sold then that's what you would usually expect to pay so around 7 to 12 13 euros but of course there also were more expensive things as well if you look at specific brands or a jacket or a dress or something so those could go 20 to 30 i think i also found one item for 40 euros which is okay ish but i think it also depends on the brand that you're buying so I found two items of clothing that I really liked and I went ahead and tried them on. Now these little cabins or wardrobes where you would try things on in this cute little store were quite spacious, they were quite clean, they were also very well lit so you could see the clothes really clearly, you had a lot of space to move around, you had a lot of space to hang your clothes, so that was really really good. Now these two items of clothing that I decided to try on were really really good when you looked at them on the rack and I wasn't completely sold on them in a sense um, these pants looked really really cool and I had this great idea in mind for them but they just didn't fit very well and um, these pants cost around 13 to 14 euros I think which was relatively high for a secondhand store but I also wasn't familiar with the brand or anything so I don't know if that's like a price you would expect for a secondhand item of clothing. Now this top was from Orsay and I really really loved it especially this little flare detail at the end of the sleeves. Now the price was about 11 to 12 euros which again I think it's a bit too high for a secondhand top and for 12 euros I actually wanted to buy like at least two tops for that price to see if I could actually find good items of clothing at secondhand stores. So I ended up not getting these two items even though they were really cute. The pants didn't actually fit well. They um, made my legs look a little too <laughs> chubby in a sense. And um, I, I wasn't feeling them, but the top I really, really thought about getting it. And then I was like, you know what? I'll just go check the other store. If I find something great, if I don't, I'll come back and get this one. And afterwards I went to Humana, the next store. Now the second store I went to was Humana. Now Humana is your more traditional thrift store, your more traditional secondhand store. It is quite a big and spacious shop with lots and lots of items of clothing. I repeat, lots of items of clothing. It is where you have to go and spend quite a lot of time to go and actually find good pieces. Now things aren't completely randomized in this store. They try to organize things at least based on color and type of clothing, but there are still a lot of just random jumbled up items in a sense. Outside of the store, there were racks with items that are um, priced at around one to three euros, which was insane to me actually, like finding really, really good top, and even some good branded tops for one euro was insane to me to be honest I did not expect that and especially this part where you could buy jackets and coats for three euros was insane to me like they were actually pretty good coats and jackets they weren't completely my style and I also already have a lot of coats so I wasn't specifically looking for something but they were really good coats really good jackets and for three euros that is quite a steal <laughs> that's the thrift store experience I was expecting to find and I found one top that I really liked for one euro, but it was ripped somewhere here. And I was like, ah, no, I, I don't want it. <laughs> but that's, I guess, the price you pay for like a one euro item. So you might find some rips or tears or something. And uh, if you don't mind them, or if you don't mind fixing them afterwards, then definitely buy it for one euro. Like that's, 
this specific Humana store was quite big and it also had a second floor, but the items of clothing were so crammed up with one another that you really felt a little claustrophobic because there was very little space for you to walk around the clothes, but I guess that's what you would expect in a typical thrift store where there are lots and lots of items of clothing. You would definitely need quite a lot of time to go through these items. And especially if you're like me going to almost every single rack <laughs> and every single item of clothing, like in the beginning, we're going <laughs> uh, you would definitely need quite a lot of time there and patience. One interesting thing that I found about Humana was that the first floor was a more normal thrift store like with different items of clothing. The second floor was somehow divided into three sections. One section was um, items of clothing with bigger numbers. One section consisted of items for men and the other part was a vintage section. So everything that you would traditionally call vintage you would find in this part of the store. What I saw a lot of people doing was they completely skipped the first floor and went directly to the vintage part. So they were interested in more specific older items of clothing. The second floor was also decorated in a more vintage vibe, so I quite like that. It was a little bit more organized and it felt a bit spacious. It was really interesting to see some items of clothing that were uh, from the 80s and 90s. Now I want to show you some of the items that I actually bought. They are really great. I didn't buy too many items, just a few, but um, I'm really in love with them. I'm quite proud of having found them in a really, really good price. I'm going to try them on, show you how they fit, tell you a little bit about them and their prices. So yeah, let's go ahead and try them on. Okay, so the first thing I bought is this jumper blouse type of top. <laughs> I really, really love this one. I also put my hair up in a ponytail so you can see the clothes better, but please just ignore it because my hair is really crazy today. I don't know what's its deal. <laughs> and yeah, um, so this is the first top. It's got stripes and it's really, really thick, but it's also so, so thought, thought. <laughs> It's also so, so, so soft, and it's one of the reasons why I bought it. This is not a fashion piece or something wow, and one of the only reasons why I bought it is because it feels so, so good on the skin. It's soft, and it's like not too tight, and it fits great. It's not too long, it's not too short. This top also has this little cut detail around the sleeves. As you can see, you can also wear them long like this if you're that type of person. I sometimes wear sleeves like this when it's really cold or when I just don't want to work with my hands <laughs> now i bought this top for five euros and that is a pretty pretty good price because i am a material freak one of the main things i look for in an item of clothing is the material and how it feels so yeah this is one of the tops now the next item of clothing that i bought is this shirt i also put my hair up in this bun because i just can't be bothered with my hair going all around the place today <laughs> it's all over the place i don't know what's wrong with it and i'm so sorry for the dramatic changes of hairstyles throughout this video, but bear with me, okay? <laughs> this is a Gary Weber top. And if you're not familiar with the brand, Gary Weber is quite expensive. And by expensive, I mean that this shirt would have cost anywhere between 70 to 100 euros. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I've seen Gary Weber items of clothing. I've been in their shops a few times before. Um, the items of clothing are great, gorgeous, but they are just so, so expensive. And you... I need, I need to come closer for this. Can you see me? Am I close enough? This shirt costs four euros. Four. Four. Ah, four euros. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. <laughs> and the material, like I said, I told you, I'm a material freak. The material of this shirt is so, soft and it's thick it's not too thin first of all excuse this cable over here it's my microphone but i just wanted to show you how i would actually wear this shirt like um this is how i would style it i would tuck it in pull it out a little bit and have this chic vibe like look at me i look like a million dollars right this is one of the best things i've ever found look at this four euros i got this baby for four euros we love it we are living for it Yes, bitch. The next item of clothing I bought is this poncho. Look at it. It's so nice, it's so flowy. Now this was the most expensive item out of all of the things that I bought. This cost 
8 euros. I really loved it and I wanted to have some sort of blanket type clothing so I could just put my hands over here and just like cuddle up as you know <laughs> and one of the reasons why i loved it is of course the material it is so soft it's not itchy or anything and it's also a really really great length like in the front i don't know if you can see it but it is really long arm length is perfect like my arms up till here and then behind it it's also extremely long like look i don't <laughs> For eight euros, I did find it a bit expensive. And if I didn't want or need something specific like this, I wouldn't have bought it. But I really did want this blanket item of clothing. So when I'm at home or when I'm sitting, I could just like snuggle up in it, you know? And it's not a jacket or a hoodie or something that I could actually like put my arms through. It's just like, put it on and you want to take it off? It's just easy. <laughs> Let me just... But yeah, there isn't really much to say about this item of clothing. It wasn't a statement piece. It wasn't something wow. It was just something that I needed and wanted and had randomly found. So I put my hair down again. I know, I know, roller coaster of hairstyles going all over the place, but I have to put my hair down for this thing. It's not this top, it's not anything, these are mine, but you have to see what I found. Wait, I'm gonna go get it. Hello, I'm your new babushka. This hat. Oh my god, look how it goes with my hair. I am so, so excited with this hat. Oh, like, I was so skeptical of getting this hat, but it just goes so well. It feels so warm, and it also goes with my poofy, curly hair. Now, the downside to this hat is that it makes me look like either a Russian <laughs> or a really old person. But you know what? I like it, I love it. It's one of the few hats that actually fits me and it doesn't make my hair look weird. So it's not too tight and then my hair is just out of a hat. <laughs> it actually looks really good. Like, wait, let me get, let me get my coat. Like, look at me with this coat. The future queen's gambit. What, should I start playing chess now? Coat's off because it's too warm, but I bought this hat for three euros. Three. Three euros for me to look rich and you know what's great it's because it's not too poofy like look how it is on top can you see it's so soft and then you got this little faux fur thing can't wait to go outside and drink vodka with this hat <laughs> all right I'll stop now I'll stop now sorry <laughs> I've left the best item of clothing that I bought for the very end of this video because it is I am so excited um, it is my first ever vintage statement piece so when I'm actually buying vintage I want to buy like these pieces that are really unique they're vintage and they're also statement pieces so it's not something that you would wear every day it's something that will say wow but yeah I'm just gonna go put it on and show you guys in a few seconds okay here I come <gasps> wow <laughs> I know I look a teensy bit like a grandma but can you imagine this top with a black turtleneck like oh, I don't own a black turtleneck but I am about to buy one simply because I bought this this is definitely a more outerwear type of clothing it's like a jacket but not a jacket in the sense because it has this satin lining inside but it's just so can you look at the detail like look at the detail here with the flowers like isn't this gorgeous it's quite long I don't know if you can see it and the buttons if you can see the buttons look look at this it's warm and it's great and it's interesting and it has pockets it's just like it's a perfect vintage statement piece and since I actually just started building my wardrobe it's gonna take a little bit of time until I like gather items to make a full-on perfect fashionable and stylish um, outfit but I'm looking forward to it and I bought this for six euros which was it was actually on sale because it costed like 20 euros and I was like, <gasps> what? And I spent like 10 minutes in front of the mirror going like this, looking at the angles, you know, <laughs> but ah, I love this outfit so, 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 so much. It's interesting. It's attention grabbing. It's like a wow piece. 
and um, I think that's why I was also drawn to it. So yeah, if you want to see more thrifting videos, definitely let me know. If there's a specific topic or even a shop that you want me to visit here in Berlin, definitely let me know, comment below or send me a message. I do plan on visiting a lot of the thrifting and vintage stores here in Berlin. Um, stay tuned for those videos. It might be a little hard right now because Germany is in a stricter lockdown, so all of the shops are actually closed. So I don't know how I'm gonna make that happen, but we'll see. Yeah, thank you for watching this far. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social. <laughs> one more time, one more time. <laughs> thank you for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like or hit the subscribe button and follow me on my socials. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>